Hey, welcome back to Java with Jeff. So glad you're tuning in every week. Uh, I hope you have your beverage and your Bible. I do today. And I've got a venti today because I'm frustrated. Maybe you're frustrated too. But let, let's have an honest conversation for the next few minutes about this. There's so many things in our world you could be frustrated about. I'm sure that you've probably been frustrated about COVID and the impact of that and wearing masks and maybe social media, maybe a relationship with a friend or a family member, a coworker, a boss. I mean, everything seems to be like boiling under the surface with people's frustrations boiling over these days. So what do you do with that? Because frustrations, I've just thought about this a little bit, have to do with things not lining up the way I want them to. And, and sometimes the way I figure that out is, you know, am I seeing this issue, this thing correctly? Do I have all the information I need? Otherwise, I need to humble myself and get some more information before I'm just frustrated about stuff. The other thing I do is I sort of figure out, is this thing worth dying for? Is it that big a deal? Why am I getting frustrated about this? Well, Jesus had a conversation with his disciples about being frustrated about bad things happening in the world and what was about to happen in his life with the disciples. And you probably know the story if you're a follower of Jesus and you've studied the Bible at all. You know that Jesus would warn and tell the disciples he would die on a cross for the forgiveness of sins. And then the good news is rise on the third day, literally from the dead. In the middle of that conversation before those events happen, Jesus said this in John chapter 16, verse 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you'll have trouble but take heart, I have overcome the world. Maybe those verses are familiar to you or maybe they're brand new, but all the things that Jesus has been talking about are all the bad things that are gonna to happen to him personally, crucifixion, brutal torture. But then he says, but I'm gonna overcome the world. The resurrection is gonna happen. But in the midst of all this, in the middle of your life, you're gonna have trouble. It's gonna be difficult, but you can have peace. Why? because Jesus has overcome the world. He's overcome all of these things that would cause you to be frustrated. So I hope that's encouraging to you. Seems easier said than done to walk out your day now and think about the frustrations that you might have, but it's refocusing. It's changing your perspective. It's fixing your eyes on Jesus. It's thinking about him, and then lots of things fade away because he's the most important. So I hope, you, hope you're encouraged by that today. Thanks for tuning in this week to Java with Jeff. We'll see you next week.